almost 40 feet high. I really think she climbed out. Depends. On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? Evacuate the island. She's a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Special episode of Camp Cannon today. Today we go back 65 million years to the age of dinosaurs. Or actually we're just gonna go back to the multiplex because I'm excited. Jurassic World is coming out and it's gonna be an awesome movie. If you're like me, you love dinosaurs. And a little bit of a tip guys, I actually had a chance to be a stuntman in the movie. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that and look at some clips from the movie. There are two things I've loved most in this life, bikes and reptiles. Now I crisscross the globe learning about all kinds of incredible animals. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Other times I'm in over right, my head. But one thing's for certain, we'll come away a whole lot smarter after every adventure. This is Camp Kennedy. So who doesn't love dinosaurs? I mean, all of us reptile lovers look at our animals and imagine them as these prehistoric beasts stumbling through our backyards. It was all about that when I was five years old. I loved Godzilla and dinosaurs. And dinosaurs brought me to reptiles. In fact, they evolved way before the dinosaurs even showed up on Earth. And every time I look at Nostradamus, my, my Aldabra tortoise eating here, I always imagine a sauropod dinosaur just meandering through the primitive landscape. But I gotta tell you guys, last year, in June of 2014, I was invited to work on Jurassic World as a stuntman. Very good friend of mine, We've done a lot of stunt work together in the past when I was a professional BMX rider. He helped me learn some really cool BMX moves. He went on to become one of the best stunt coordinators in the business and knowing how much I loved the modern day dinosaurs, birds and reptiles, he invited me to work on the show. And man, upon arriving there, I was blown away by the amount of money spent on the illusion. So cool. So you're gonna have to watch for me in a very particular scene where there is just chaos. People are running for their lives. I happen to play a tourist and I also got to play a park employee trying to help people get to safety. You're gonna really have to look, there's a lot of chaos. But uh, while I was also there, I was joking around with one of the other stuntmen on set doing my Velociraptor impersonation and it prompted me to have to send in to ILM this, I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys this, but I'm gonna. I sent into ILM a test tape because they were looking for stunt people or actors who could mimic dinosaur movements. Now, I didn't ultimately get the job, but why don't you take a look and see if I did a good enough job for you folks out there. This is gonna be an interesting comment section. Take a look.
thought I looked like Velociraptor. My friends have been seeing that move for about 20 years, since the original Jurassic Park came out. Seriously, I'm a lot of fun at parties, guys. But I have to talk about the original Jurassic Park. You know, back in the 70s when I grew up, I had books on dinosaurs, and that really inspired me to get involved in reptiles. But there's a whole generation of kids that were born in the late 80s that watched the first Jurassic Park movie, and it blew their minds. Heck, man, I was 19 when that movie came out, and it blew my mind. But I was already sold on reptiles. And so I'm excited about Jurassic World coming out because it's really going to influence yet another generation of kids that love these animals, that like to use their imaginations as to what it was like to live during the age of reptiles or the age of dinosaurs. And one more thing before we go, look at that face. If that doesn't say raptor, I don't know what does. That Slinky, the water monitor, and many of our modern day reptiles were inspirations for the artists and the special effects wizards to create some of the dinosaurs you saw. And here comes one of those raptors getting closer to my hat. I gotta be careful, man. Well, hey, I had a fun time here today showing you a little bit about what I did. You give me a kiss, buddy? Thank you. I hope he doesn't smell anything he wants to eat. Anyway, I hope you'll check out the movie this weekend and then come back every Tuesday and check me out. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you soon.